On this project I am going to be making a garden fence, the wood I'm using it's 1 and 3 quarters by half inch. First I need to cut 12 pieces at 3 feet long, and 24 pieces at 12 inch long for the uprights. Using a miter saw, clamp the boards together to speed up the process, or if you don't feel safe do one at a time. Trim all the uprights at 45 degree on one end only, this will be the top side on the fence, just to give it a different look. I sanded down all pieces with 320 grit sandpaper, then I laid down on my table two 3 feet pieces, and marked 4 inches from each end. Mark the uprights, 1 inch and 7 inches from the bottom. Apply glue, and before installing the screws I always use a countersink bit pilot, this will prevent the wood from splitting, and the screw head will be flush with the wood. Install the two end uprights, and center the other two uprights in between. I am installing two screws on the two end uprights, at the bottom only, this will keep the fence straight and not moving or sagging. Once you're done with the first fence, let the glue dry, meanwhile work on the other pieces, depending on how many pieces you're building, in my case I will be making 6 fence pieces, if you're planning on staining it, clean the extra glue with a wet cloth, if you don't you will see the glue through the stain. I apply 3 coats of white paint by Bear from the Home Depot, and let it dry for a day. After the paint is dry, I will be drilling a 3 16 hole at the bottom of the two end uprights on each fence piece. I'm going to be installing a 1 quarter by 6 inch full treaded rod, this will be the leg to hold the fence, repeat the same steps to all your fence pieces. Now we have a portable and removable fence for garden decorations. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.